Welcome everybody to the next screencast of Unit 4. Our topic is the Sacco and Vanzetti trial, 1921. Sacco there is on the left-hand side and Vanzetti with the mustache on the right. Let's start this thing with our essential question. How do the outcome of the Sacco and Vanzetti trial reflect the growing fear of immigrants in the 1920s? So let's start the whole thing off here with the anarchist bombing of the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, people are that are coming home from World War One, living in the early 20s, thinking that things were so great. Uh, there is a growing gap between the really, really rich people and the poor people. So much so that people are thinking of really even going against the capitalist democratic system. Uh, wartime employment was there, but the real wages are actually going to be dropping. And what that means is uh, due to inflation, they're taking less money home than they did before the war. So they're putting less money in their pockets, which of course is going to make everyone uh, not really happy. We're also going to start to see a traditional uh, part of the business cycle and economic recession. We don't need the same type of wartime production that we had. So we're going to start to slow our production, meaning people are going to be losing their jobs. So it's going to increase tensions there as well. And we're also going to see a rise in radical politics. We're going to start to see the emergence of the industrial workers of the world again, those socialists, and also some communists. And, and in addition to both of those, we're going to start to see a little bit of anarchy that is going to develop as well. Uh, all in all, this is going to play on American fears of foreigners that we've had even prior to World War I beginning. So the Sacco and Benzetti trial itself, who are these guys? They are recent Italian immigrants. Uh, one's a shoemaker, the other one's a fish peddler. It's not important uh, which one is which. Uh, they are admitted anarchists, strike one. They evaded uh, the draft in World War I, strike two. And they were immigrants, strike three. Uh, they get arrested in 1920 for robbery and murder of a factory paymaster and a guard in South Braintree, Massachusetts. Um, these guys were actually nowhere to be found um, in South Braintree whatsoever. Um, Sacco was not at his job, so that's where a lot of these people are thinking where he might have uh, taken part in this crime. But it's actually not true. So the trial itself, it's completely circumstantial evidence, meaning they don't have any hard evidence on these guys. They don't have a, a smoking gun, if you will. Uh, the witnesses that saw or think that they saw the, the crime happen said that these criminals appeared to be Italians, appeared to be Italians. They don't know for sure. They don't have any positive identification or anything. Uh, Sacco and Vanzetti are going to provide solid alibis. Uh, one's up in Plymouth. The other one is, again, nowhere around uh, South Braintree. The problem is the trial is going to completely fail the due process of law. Uh, the judge is going to end up calling both of these guys WAPs and also uh, anarchist bastards, and not to mention that the council is going to fall asleep on them as well. Uh, so it's just, it's doomed from the start for these two guys. Uh, the jury has been encouraged to find them guilty, and also, uh, unfortunately, because of this trial, these guys are going to be sentenced to die by the electric chair. There is international protest. This is not something small. This, uh, along with the Scopes trial that's going to happen later, are really trials of this century, uh, especially this because they're immigrants. It's going to go viral worldwide, at least viral for 1920s anyways. You can see in this picture right here, Save Sacco Manzetti, protest demonstration against death sentence, Trafalgar Square, Sunday next at 3 p.m., coming your thousands. Here's another protest, Sacco Manzetti are innocent men. They shall not be murdered. We want justice, defend, vindicate, and liberate Sacco Manzetti. Now the protest. Uh, there is not just protests, like I said, in the United States, but also in Latin America and Europe. Uh, many thought that they were mistreated because they're immigrants and had radical beliefs, uh, anarchist beliefs, and they're absolutely true for, for thinking that. Uh, unfortunately, after a, a few attempts at appealing to the Supreme Court, both Sacco and Vanzetti will die by the electric chair in 1927. Uh, they are going to get a funeral procession, which not a whole lot of people get. Uh, by the 1980s, though, really the late 1970s, um, Massachusetts is going to t test fire the bullet from the gun that they found. Uh, there's some accounts that say that the one of the cops ended up switching the evidence, but the, the gun that fired the, the shot that killed the guy was registered to Sacco. However, Sacco had uh, reported it stolen uh, a few weeks before this, so he said he didn't have it on him. Uh, the gun that was used to kill the bank guard, again, there's no proof that Sacco and Vanzetti, either one of those guys, pulled the trigger, quite obviously because by the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, with new, better technology, but these guys are not around uh, to say their piece or to get another trial. Uh, it really, really is unfortunate and failing due process of law. Uh, the Massachusetts Governor, Michael Dukakis, is even going to apologize for this unfair trial and he doesn't necessarily grant them a pardon, 
but he doesn't believe that these guys had anything to do with this murder. Now, don't get it wrong here. Sacco Mazzetti were not the uh, squeakiest clean individuals. Again, they're admitted anarchists. Uh, they were involved in some sort of crime, uh, but were not in involved in this particular one. Okay? The quota system. Many thought that there were too many immigrants coming to the United States. Uh, this was a big, big problem, especially for white um, Americans of European descent. Uh, the 1924 quota system limited immigration to 2% of the population that is based on the 1890 census. And these numbers are solid. You can bring these numbers out, and it can really show uh, down to the last person how many people that they're going to let in. And the whole point of the 1890 census is there are fewer new immigrants that were going to be allowed into the United States at this point. But it's not just the newer immigrants of South, uh, South, Southern and Eastern Europe. We're specifically talking about Roman Catholics and Orthodox Jews. We don't see a lot of those people coming until after 1890. So we really want to uh, close America off to those people. So uh, in total, uh, with the quota system, we're only going to be allowing about 150,000 immigrants per year coming to the United States, which 85% of that is going to go to white people, Northern and Western Europeans. Uh, this is going to tilt the favor of immigration back into Northern and Western Europeans, again, 85%. And we're just going to completely ignore Asian immigrants because Teddy Roosevelt took care of those with the Gentleman's Agreement uh, back at the early 1900s. So a recap, how did the outcome of the Sacco Mazzetti trial reflect the growing fear of immigrants in the 1920s? I know this one's kind of short, but you can see straight off, straight away that we have this nativist idea, this turning in, this wanting to only hire white people, only trusting white people, no immigrants, especially no Eastern or Southern European immigrants. So we start to uh, have racial problems with these people. Uh, we start to see um, some race riots that are going to develop, uh, not just with African Americans, but also with with Italians and other uh, races of people as well. So you can see the fact that we're trying to pinpoint some of these people for things that they didn't even do just because. So if you have any questions, let me know. Find me in class, send me an email. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. I'm out.